Scotland. One of the most beautiful countries in the world as far as I'm concerned. But my opinion don't count. I'm biased. I'm jaded. My clan, the Clan McRae, took possession of Eileen Donnan Castle in the 11th century. But we're not here today to talk about the beauty of Scotland. We're here at Eileen Donnan Castle in the northwest part of Scotland. No, we're not here to talk about the beauty of Scotland. We're here to talk about one of the darker times. A time when highwaymen, vagabonds, vagrants, rob people on the road. A time when A time when a split was happening, uh, a split between the people who wanted a unified Scotland, an independent Scotland, and when sometimes the same members, just like in the American Civil War, split with the other side or England. It's the time of the Jacobite Wars when they're just starting. We're here today to talk about a man who was so dark, was so evil. He became known as the Cannibal of Scotland. Today, we're here to talk about Sonny Bean, right here on Living History's Mysteries. Stay tuned. right now so this is kind of a gross story and I didn't think it would go well with food because we're talking about cannibalism and it's kind of an urban legend like I can't really confirm that any of this is true it may just be made up stories by townspeople so we're doing this like it's a bedtime story whoa 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 wait wait how can anything pertaining to Sonny Bean be even closely considered to a bedtime story? Oh God, there goes all the seriousness out of this video. It's kind of an urban legend, like I can't really confirm that any of this is true. So grab a stuffed animal, your significant other, a dog, a cat, whatever, and let's get started. So our story begins with Alexander Sonny Bean. And he was born sometime in the 1500s to the 16th century in Scotland in East Lothia, I believe. So Sonny is not the most traditional kind of guy, and he ends up running away with a woman. And this woman's name is Black Agnes Douglas. And she's a little weird like him because she was accused of being a witch and summoning demons and sacrificing children, all this kind of thing. So a weird pair. So the couple, they go off, they run away from home and they find a cave somewhere on the coast, okay? So they live in this cave for 25 years and they have lots and lots of babies. So they have a total of eight sons and six daughters, 14 kids. They have a lot of mouths to feed. What are they gonna do? Sonny, Mr. Sonny Bean, gets this wonderful and just amazing idea. He says, let's just rob people, okay? And then let's dismember their bodies and eat them so there's no evidence. And that's what they do. So the Bean Clan routinely goes out at night, ambushes people, and dismembers them and has them for dinner. So the Beans are thriving. And the 
this causes them to reproduce like rabbits. So we have a lot, a lot of incest going on. And their kids are canoodling and end up with a total of 18 grandsons and 14 granddaughters. That's a lot of babies. So this clan of 48 people are continuing to do their thing. And the townspeople are starting to get suspicious. There are people disappearing left and right. And they're like, what's going on? Some rumors are going around. There is a rumor that the innkeepers, those who are running inns, are the ones that are taking townspeople and dismembering them, murdering them, eating them. They don't know what's going on. Another rumor is that it's more supernatural and that these goblin-like creatures are going and taking the people from their villages, which is not too far off if you think about it. And the townspeople wanted justice. So a lot of innocent people were lynched. And then things take a turn for the worst when the beans decide to ambush a married couple who are returning from a fair. So they just left a fair. They're on their horses. It's nighttime. And the beans are like, let's roll. So the bean women attack the woman, the female. And they rip her off her horse, they strip her and disembowel her, and they start to eat her flesh, okay? And the husband is there, and he's like, oh my god, what's going on? I mean, he's horrified. And then the bean men start attacking him, but they don't know that the husband is like a trained swordsman or whatever. <laughs> So he's like fending them off, he's fighting them off, and he manages to get away. And within all of this commotion, so remember, there's a fair going on. 20 to 30 fairgoers come to this crime scene, and they see the, the Bean family feeding off of this woman. And they're like, oh my god. So the Beans retreat, they run away. <laughs> legs and 
they are left to bleed out. And the women are uh, put on stakes and lit on fire, so they all burn to death. Women and children, by the way. That is the first version. That is the version that most people say is what happened. But then there's also a second version, which is a lot more boring. In the second version, the beans come back to their cave and there's gunpowder in their cave at the entrance and it makes them all suffocate and they all die in the cave. So that is the story of Sonny Bean, the man who killed, allegedly killed over a thousand people, had a ton of children, an incestuous clan that went on for 25 years. Is it true? Is it not true? I guess we'll never know. And that is it for now. If you enjoyed this, please let me know. If you did not enjoy this, please let me know. If you want to see more story time videos like this, please let me know. Bye-bye. So this is the kind of bedtime stories you tell your kids? God. <laughs> Welcome back. Like I said... This was a dark time for Scotland. This was a, a, basically a civil war. Did we want a unified, independent Scotland? Or did we want a Hanoverian Rand Scotland? Rand from the throne in England. This question is still around today. A lot of people believe that this question was answered in the grass and mud at Culloden. Thousands of men gave their lives and the question is still being asked. Do we want an independent Scotland or do we want a Hanoverian Rand, British Rand Scotland? Who knows what the future holds? But that was the story of the dark time. That was the story of Sonny Bean and his clan. <sighs> Every country has its dark times, no matter how big or small. Scotland is no bigger than the state of Michigan where I live. Still, it has history and mysteries worth telling. But that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. God bless you. God love you, I do. We'll catch you all in history. Hey guys and gals, it's your buddy Drew. You know, I want to take a moment and, and just tell you guys, I want to express how thankful I am for this tight-knit little family, this tight-knit little group. Uh, I know I announced just a few minutes ago in the video to stay tuned to the end for special guests and special announcements. Um, Last night, I had the honor and the privilege of uh, two of 
the family members stopping by, they made like a two and a half hour trip from down between Lafayette, Indiana and Indianapolis, Indiana uh, to come up and visit with me for a few hours just kick back and chill and get to know each other on a not on screen basis um, and it was great it was great uh, of course those of you that, r that run in our little click here on the platform you guys know uh, KG Kentucky girl uh, and of course you know her sweetie Wookie uh, they uh, came up yesterday Kentucky girl finally made it to Wookie's place in Indiana after two months of trying and on her first full day here they made the two two and a half hour trip up here to visit me and it was awesome it was awesome. It's one of the greatest parts of being a content creator and being on YouTube is getting to meet the people that you see on the screen. It's a little bit of idol worship, I guess, in a way. You know, you, you see these people do their videos or their live streams or whatever, but to finally get to sit down and meet them was awesome. It was awesome. I loved it. Love you guys. Thanks for coming up and visiting. Uh, we got to do it again sometime. I'm going to try to get them to one of the ghost dramas next year up here in Michigan. That'll be cool. The second announcement that I wanted to make to you guys is for those of you that have been following the community tab uh you knew that i didn't get to ghost bus on monday evening on halloween with my daughter uh, we had another situation pop up about 45 minutes before we were supposed to leave the house and well needless to say it was a little bit more important than going out and getting candy um me and the wife uh, her son had her first blood grandbaby. Uh, actually, the daughter-in-law went into labor, light labor, on Halloween and spent all night Monday night, all day Tuesday uh, in labor. And uh, they finally, uh, finally induced the labor on Wednesday. And Wednesday evening, this little thing right here this beautiful little girl little hero um come into the world at 8 17 p.m so this makes my 11th grandchild and makes the wife's well first blood grandchild so you know congratulations to my stepson and, and his beautiful fiance um it's awesome it's awesome. And no matter how many grandbabies you have, I don't think it ever gets old. So that was the that was the special announcements and stuff, guys. God bless y'all. Thank you for all the love, all the support, everything for the channel. Year number four is coming. Let's make it a good one. God bless.